the graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome spectre awaits. Yes. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going! Alright, Dutchie. I mean, it seems like you're asking a lot, but you know what? We'll do it. Oh no, I don't... I remember these robots. These guys are really annoying. Alright, so... I don't remember how to defeat him. I think I just have to hit him twice. Oh... You gotta hit him like that. And then... Okay. Robot Encyclopedia. Destroy at least one type of every robot in the game while playing the campaign. Nice. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, uh, the robots with the shields. Oh, come on. Where's the splash damage? Okay, so... I think I have to drain this place, because this is, like, explorable. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm making it a word. So we're just gonna go this way. Oh, come on. this one? Well, I, I don't know what this is, but... Okay. Yeah. Alright. That's how we do it. So we have to, like, close off one of those pipes, or maybe all the pipes. Then we can, uh, explore this area. That's what we have to do. And get rid of this one, and then we could wall jump. Well, that's that's actually a much easier way to deal with those guys. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. You see those Fresh, like a spring breeze. Those inner tube looking guys, or whatever they are. Get my own. Oh! Oh, he gets splash damage, of course. But if I get far enough away, he forgets about me. <sighs> so, anyway, the uh, 
the inner tube enemies. I always tried to like bubble stomp them. But it's actually easier to just do that. Because I hit them all at once. Whereas if I jump like this and do that, sometimes I don't get uh, enough height. Okay, this isn't too bad. At least I hope it's not. See, this one's stationary, so I'm assuming we have to, like, move one of them so I can do that. However... Oh, wait. No, this is right. Or not. Oh. That's right. Close that thing off. Is that all I have to do? Oh, jeez. I thought there was like multiple things. I need Sandy for that. Um. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Let's do this before I forget. Pull. I have to be careful. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. Oh! Uh. You know what, I should have taken the one with the no robot robots. Wait, where do I go from here? Oh, I have to go around the side. Oh! Mmm. Okay. I took the wrong path. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, but still. No. isn't a flat surface so I'm like bouncing off of stuff. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No no no. Oh. oh. Come on. We got time. Jeez. I still had like 10 seconds at least. I don't know why I'm panicking so much. That's just how I play. That's how I play everything. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for this area. I didn't see anything along the way. Alright, I'm just gonna go back this way. It'll probably be easier. Or faster. Meh, I don't know. But I can backtrack and pick up everything I missed. There's probably a sock around here somewhere. But I have no idea where. Oh! Hmm. I could have done that too. I could have just jumped in the thing and respawned at the checkpoint. Oh, I have to do this over again? Why would you do that, game? Alright. Enough, uh... Backtracking. Oh, that's gonna hurt me. I was really hoping I was in cover. <laughs> but that's not how things work in this game. I, I've played too many FPS games in my life. Oh. 
I guess that's why we have to do that. So we can get back up here and then we use this. Uh oh. Let's see if I can get a second shot off. Okay. There's probably a more efficient way to deal with them. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, I didn't even realize he was there. I have to do everything over again. Oh, because <laughs> it's a stupid checkpoint system. I mean, look, I really, really wish that, uh, you know, these things wouldn't reset every time I respawned because there's really no point to having them reset. Doesn't make sense at all. Probably something up here. Yep. Oh, look at that. A hidden spatula. I was expecting a sock. Well, this should take us back. You know, this music kind of reminds me of the music from uh, Kingdom Hearts. From, uh, Neverland. I mean, it would make sense because, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm just going to two of those. I think I could use the bubble bowl. to uh, kill them. It might be faster, but it all depends. All right, shield down. See, as long as I'm far enough away, they don't target me, which means I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about them shooting their stuff at me. Oh no, there's a freaking spawner up here. And my thing missed because I. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. You son of a. Just die. The first shot should have killed it, but you know. My missile doesn't have any splash damage. So, maybe we do this. I'm surprised I landed on the button. Oh boy. You know what would be really nice is a checkpoint. I see one over there. Oh! I was not expecting that. I thought I was going to walk across. Oh, there's another spatula for us. Love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Mr. Squidward, swab the poop deck. Of, of course, Squidward is here too. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. All right. Thanks, Squidward. Right. 
All right. It would have been easier with a bubble, but there's a little ledge there, so, you know. Oh! Oh, this is bad. I wasn't expecting them to drop. You're telling me these jets that are holding up the thing can't hold up SpongeBob? Like, that's just too much weight? Come on. I haven't seen these guys in a while. When was the last time we saw them? Like, Jellyfish Fields? Oh, maybe Goo Lagoon. Fresh like a spring breeze. Uh huh. Interesting that they have two bus stops, like, right next to each other. Maybe that's so we can, like, go back and... Have Sandy go to the other place. Maybe that's why they gave Sandy the power of flight. Because she's a flying squirrel. I don't think she's actually a flying squirrel. I think she's just a squirrel that flies. But, you know. All right. You see, at least here they put the bus stops like very close to each other, so I don't have to like backtrack or anything. Oh, what? Hmm. Oh, okay. I thought I had to do something else as Sandy, but, uh... Well, maybe. The thing just moves, so... I guess if I do it fast enough, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, now we have horizontal wall jumping. Alright, I got a checkpoint so I can grab this one. I need to collect all the shinies I can get because we're going to need like 40,000. Damn it. It's not fair. They're using teamwork. Oh, this guy. Can I do this? There's nothing like the smell of bubble oh, in the morning. Geez. Smells like victory. Oh, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy is so annoying. Come on. Checkpoint. There's a freaking clam thing over there. I don't know if I can make that jump. I mean, I have a checkpoint, so let's just try it. I've underestimated, underestimated SpongeBob too many times. I don't think I've found a single sock yet. I saw one back at the beginning, but I need Sandy for that, so. Oh, this is gonna suck. I mean, I guess we just press X and things will work out. <laughs> I don't actually have to control where I'm going. That'll always make things better. You... I feel like a new sponge. Uh, camera, please.
Okay, so I think I have to wait for that middle one. What the heck? Dude, this is... <laughs> what is going on? The camera's not really the most helpful. Or can I start with this one? That's much better. And of course, of course. Hmm. Of course. Why not? Why not just be all the way back here? Don't you fall off. Really? Really, my... My thing did not trigger the freaking explosive ones. How? Where's my splash damage, game? Alright, I... Honestly, I don't know how to, uh... Consistently get... This, uh, wall jumping thing down. It, it's... I just don't know how to do it. It's mostly just trial and error. Just keep trying until it works. <laughs> but man, that is annoying. Oh, that brings me back. Okay. Oh, look, Mr. Krabs is here. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one, though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> uh, let's destroy this thing. We're going to wait patiently. How many socks are here? There's only three. Okay. So I'm basically missing two because I know where the first one is. This place can be a little bit confusing. Um, because there's there's just a lot to explore and there's a lot of verticality to it. Okay. Of course you would. You son of a All right, we have to kill this guy. This guy has to die first because he's just annoying. Oh, that was dangerous. I told you, these guys are very annoying enemies to deal with. Oh, shoot. His shield might come back. Yep. Okay, I have to be, like, at the edge here, and I just have to try to do this as fast as possible. If this doesn't work, then I'm kind of screwed. Okay. No, I really don't want to fall off here. Dude, some of the bouncing is not working right. Uh, there's probably a spawner somewhere around here. We got our checkpoints, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and swap to Sandy because she can fly. 
Oh, that's probably what I was supposed to do. I just realized this uh, bowling thing. this one. I'm surprised he didn't hit me. It's all I wanted to do. Okay. I need to get on this thing. I said I need to get on this thing. And then from here... Dude, I don't... What? I guess we can do this. If I can control it. Alright, so at least the spawner's dead. No. In here, I don't remember. Like, do I have to blow these things up? Oh. That is a yes. Oh, that one's gonna be... a little bit tougher to deal with. stay down forever? I mean, obviously it goes up at some point. I think it's once I jump on it, so I'm going to try to do this. Okay, calm down. Make your jumps. Not that hard. Let's see if this thing reset. Probably did. Nope. Someone better make good use of all these. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. All right, so um God, I hope this works. Oh, we do need SpongeBob for that. We need SpongeBob for this one. We can destroy this or pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Use that. Push, 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 push. Number one in the bikini bottom scavenger hunt. Will this work? It worked. I really wasn't expecting that. wasn't expecting that one either. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Um, let's do that again. to see where these platforms go. I think they just go all the way back down there. Um. Oh, there we go. Let's 
So I could either... I think I'm just gonna try to go this way. And I'm gonna hope this guy doesn't give me trouble. But you know, it's probably gonna happen. Grab the sock. Nope. Because I suck. Alright. Can I salvage this? Yes. Um. I'm gonna try to go back over there. After I collect these. I probably shouldn't be risking my life for this stuff, but... I'm too greedy. Okay. We'll just have to make it back. Uh, switch to Spongebob. Oh crap. That's right. Forgot about that. I could have done that from up there, but... You better make it over that railing. to stomp this button. fight uh, the Flying Dutchman. Lasso the tail. Oh yes. I don't know how he has laser eyes, but you know what? <laughs> we'll just have to accept it. Oh, what? That's messed up. Oh, we heard his little tail. He doesn't have his sock. His, what is it? His eating sock or something? I don't know. Come on, Dutchie. Do your thing. Do not... <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. I see the fire spreads that way. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably gonna do one more and then he'll do the thing. Oh! Okay. So you just gotta keep running in one direction. Because, you know... His, he can't move his thing side to side. Or, you know, he can't track me. Once he starts shooting, it's just a straight line, basically. Boss fight was extremely easy, it's just, it's kind of annoying, you have to wait for, uh, you have to wait for the Flying Dutchman to do his attacks. Alright, so, um, I'm basically missing one sock, I don't know where it is. The first one we're gonna have to go to the, uh, beginning level. So, we'll see. It might be here. No, I guess not. Can I lasso this guy in one hit? Oh, you see, this is where Sandy starts to become overpowered. Or more overpowered, I should say. Her lasso is just too strong. That's all for pretty. Now, how does this work? Because I can't really wall jump as Sandy. I don't have enough height. Unless I cheese the system. Come on, Sandy. That's probably what we're supposed to do. Um, so there's another thing, like a bus stop back there in the next section of the level. So I'm probably gonna have to go and do that. All right, so it wasn't that bad. It was like right here. So we're just gonna backtrack. Yeah, it is the one where Squidward is. You know what? I haven't talked to Squidward. I forgot about that. Oh, I'll come back. Oh, I gotta talk to... Actually, I don't know. I should probably go talk to Mr. Krabs and Squidward. Just to see if they have anything new to say. Alright, here we go. Oh! And we got that. I should probably grab this checkpoint. Because things... Things may not go well. Do I have this checkpoint? Apparently I do. Oh, now I do. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, this, this is gonna be really, really annoying. That thing go. I don't want to get hit. Ooh. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Whatever it is, the oh, hey there, SpongeBob. Alrighty, so apparently the last sock is supposed to be around here somewhere. So this is uh, the Squidward fast travel place. You know, you just go through the level. You know, do the wall jumping thing. Switch to Sandy. Go over here. And I think it should be like, there it is. Okay. So I think I should be able to, well, we can just drop here. Let's just do that. 
See, I was gonna try to, like, fly over here. I was gonna try to fly over here and then fly back over there, but... Uh, I don't know if I would have made that. So, anyway, we're done with this, so... Uh, yeah, I guess we're ready to go back to Bikini Bottom. Also, I'm missing two socks here. Interesting. Alright, so that wasn't too bad of a level. There's a couple annoying parts, mostly with the wall jumping and the new enemy with the uh, bubble shield. I don't really like those enemies. Uh, let's go... nope. I don't have enough for a spatula, so... I do have enough for Patrick, though. I don't. Up to 84 spatulas. There we go. Alright. So there's one last level that we have to do before the final level. And. I think it's kind of hard to see this level. Just because there's no, like, gate for it. So it's basically right here. This is Spongebob's Dream, which... Uh, it's a very weird level. And it can be a bit annoying. 